Hello and welcome to Mary Cast. This is Dr. Mark Mirovali, Professor of Theology at the Franciscan University of Steubenville. And we're going through a series on the Church-approved apparitions of the Lady of All Nations. Apparitions from 1945 to 1959, approved by the bishop as being of supernatural origin on May 31st of 2002. Some might say, well, you know, we're doing an ongoing series. Why so many programs on this? because there is a particular relevance of these messages of the Lady of All Nations in light of the fact that several of the prophecies she made back in 1945 to 1951 are taking place right now. Case in point is a prophecy of 1947 regarding Cairo, uh, a prophecy that Our Lady showed the visionary Ida Perdomen a map of Cairo, and the visionary felt great uneasiness and later in the message, Our Lady revealed to her a symbolic message with stars and stripes colliding with hammer and sickle colliding with crescent moons, uh, which of course would indicate uh, nationalities of the United States, of communism and of Islam countries in a difficult crisis concerning the Middle East. So this is taking place in our own time. Uh, and Our Lady is asking for actions to be taken to prevent things like natural disasters, like economic disasters, as we're going to hear in the message I'm about to read to you. Um, the disaster is always mentioned for the sake of remedy, not for the sake of doom and gloom. But we've got to respond to that. So let me go to this November 15, 1951 message. This is from the memoirs of the visionary Edith Perdomen. She says, and I quote, I see the lady standing there. She says, Tell the world that I wish to be the Lady of all nations. Let the world pray to the Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the Father, that He send the Holy Spirit, so that the Spirit of truth may dwell in the hearts of all nations. Ask that the Lady of all nations, who once was Mary, may be the Advocate. The Lady of all nations is standing here, before the cross of her Son, her feet are placed on the center of the earth. Around her is the flock of Jesus Christ. I come as the co-redemptrix mediatrix at this time. Co-redemptrix I was already at the Annunciation. Now I ask the lady what this means. Quote, this means that the mother became co-redemptrix by the will of the father. Tell your theologians this. Tell them, moreover, that this will be the last dogma in Marian history. Now, what does that mean, uh, and why does she say, tell your theologians? Well, the theologians are those called to decipher and bring forward, in light of the tradition of the Church, what Our Lady is saying here in the form of a prior revelation. And it is the ongoing teachings of the ordinary magisterium that when Mary says yes to the Archangel Gabriel to bring the world the Redeemer, she, in virtue of that yes, already becomes the co-redemptrix. Let's get back to the meaning of the word. Co means with, not equal. Uh, the trix suffix of co-redemptrix is a feminine suffix in Latin, referring to a female. And then redimire in Latin means to buy back. So we're talking about the woman with the redeemer, the woman who buys back with, and most commonly, the woman with Jesus in this work of redemption. So, as soon as Mary says yes to the angel, she becomes the woman with Jesus. In fact, she mediates Jesus Christ, the, the one mediator between God and man, to humanity. And so, we can say in virtue of Mary's yes, she is already the co-redemptrix, although that role of co-redemptrix will be climaxed at Calvary when she completes her suffering with and under Jesus. Mary's role as the new Eve along with Jesus as the new Adam in bringing forth redemption for the world. Remember, the first Adam and Eve lose grace. The second Adam and Eve obtain grace. They restore grace for the human family. So that's Our Lady's role as co-redemptrix. It starts at the Annunciation. It is finalized and brought to summit to epic conclusion at Calvary. The message goes on. This picture shall prepare the way. Have this picture brought to the world, and thereby I mean the whole world, not only your country. The world is degenerating. 
The world is being afflicted with disaster upon disaster. The world will be and is economically and materially at a dead end. Wars will continue until the spirit of truth comes with help. Get the people back to the cross. And this is again a very powerful statement. Our lady is saying, you know, the picture will prepare the way. Now I'm going to do what you're not supposed to do on camera. I'm going to put my, uh, my, uh, my, I'm going to cover my face with the picture. I mean, no one else really minds that one. This is the picture she's talking about. This is the image. Uh, it's Mary standing on the, uh, on, the, on the globe with uh, sheep around the globe symbolizing humanity, different peoples, nations of humanity, and she's in front of the cross. Well, that picture in many ways describes in visual format this role of Mary's co-redemptrix, mediatrix, and advocate because it's at Calvary that Jesus appoints Mary as the spiritual mother of all peoples in the words, woman, behold your son, and to John, behold your mother. So, this picture, and, and again, for those who would like to get the picture on a prayer card and also pray the prayer of the Lady of All Nations, contact us. We'll send it to you free of charge. 740-937-2277 or mary at motherofallpeoples.com or our Facebook page, Mother of All Peoples. Let us know how many prayer cards you want. Uh, if there are a larger number, you can send a donation. If not, please don't worry about it. Uh, our mother will take care of it. We've got to get this prayer card out. Our Lady again talks about the prayer and this picture in the context of upcoming economic and natural disasters. She says the world will be and is economically and materially at a dead end. Wars will continue until the spirit of truth comes with his help. Get the people back to the cross. So, how can Our Lady more clearly call us to, to cooperate in this work? She gives, and we're going to continue in our series to give you more specific messages, more predictions that Our Lady of All Nations gave that have taken place. The one major prediction that has not yet taken place, but she's promised will take place. She says, the battle will be bitter, but the outcome is already assured, is precisely the prediction that the Pope will proclaim as the key point of Marian history, the dogma of Mary as spiritual mother of all peoples, co-redemptrix, mediatrix, and advocate. The prayer, the Lady of All Nations prayer, prepares for that dogma. So I ask you, pray the prayer of the Lady of All Nations. We'll send it to you if you don't have it, free of charge. Mary at motherofallpeoples.com. Go to our Facebook page, Mother of All Peoples, or call us, 740-937-2277. We'll send you the prayer if you want 10 for your family, if you want... 50 for your parish, uh, whatever, we will send them to you. Let's get the, in, the, in, in, in the responding to Our Lady's message. Because, again, there's a connection between the natural disasters, the economic disasters, the moral degenerations, and the remedy, which is the prayer leading to the proclamation of the dogma. She has said in these messages, without the dogma, peace will not enter the world. That's how contingent this is. That's how important it is. We can do this as cohorts with Our Lady, with the Immaculate of Mary. We can pray at Masses, at Rosaries, giving up on our sacrifices, that the Pope will set her free, that the Pope will release her in the sense of declaring her the co-redemptrix, mediatrix, and advocate. This is Dr. Mark Mavali asking you to get the prayer card, pray, petition the Holy Father, always with due respect. Let's do our part to bring peace in the world. We can do it with heaven's help. Mark Mavali saying thanks. God bless you.